Holy fucking shit. <laughs> let's let's just get into it, all right? Let's get into it. Um All right, so um I just want to say I just want to say up front <clears throat> I have uh I have not I haven't read the books. I've read n none of the books. Um I, I think I'm going to just like go through all the books like on Audible or something like that, but anyway. <laughs> but I love the show. Love the show. However, ever since um ever ever since the episode The Long Night, you know, where, you know, the the Night King uh, winter's coming, an army of the dead, all that got wrapped up in one episode, like, ever since then to now, uh, my faith in this series has been shaken, <laughs> because all of a sudden, for the first time, I'm like, oh my god, it really does seem like they're, like, they're rushing a bit, but, um, nevertheless, and and I had issues with the last episode, but uh, but this episode was fucking like like and like from uh, from the long night to the end. Um, I'm gonna be skeptical. Um, my foundation's been shaken, but I gotta say, despite that, despite the fact that I don't know, despite the fact that I feel like in the last moments things feel like they're being rushed, you know, like we're cutting quarter, cutting the corners, but um. But despite all that, like, I think, <laughs> despite my fears on how the series might end, like, this episode was fucking amazing. I thought this episode was amazing. Um, this, I, I thought <laughs> the way that they sent off uh, Varys was just, I thought it was magical to me. Like, this whole sequence right here, dog, this whole sequence right here felt like something... This this literally felt like something out of out of a fancy story. Like this this felt like 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 a, it felt like a fancy world turned photorealistic. Like this moment just reeks of of just beautiful fancy world building. And then I just oh my god, it's like we've been following these. <laughs> I'm geeking out. We've been following following these characters for so long. And just seeing these character d decisions happen in real time that we've been theorizing about for so long is so... Uh, but, uh, like in this moment where he's trying to tell him that he's like the one true king, you know what I'm saying? Um, and he, he's try and Varys is trying to put together like a, a sensible plan going forward and Jon Snow's like, No, she's our queen. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, Varys. Nice try, and then he just fucking walks off. Um, there was like a, a little moment where, like, he was like, like his eye twitched, and uh, just, just the acting was just, was just pretty, pretty wonderful. Um, for a second, I thought that. So right after that, when Tyrion and and Danny were talking, for a second, I was like, "Fuck, is uh, is Tyrion is Tyrion about to get scorched right now?" I loved how I loved how Varys just knew, like he just knew. It's the end. Uh, as soon as Varys heard the, you know, the soldiers walk in, he's he, he's already taken off his rings. He's ready to go. Um, beautifully lit episode. Oh my god! Like like this moment right here with Varys, Varys walking to his death. Um, the the last few verbal exchanges between Tyrion and, and Varys were surprisingly emotional. Um, and, uh, just look at that backdrop, you know? Like, it's, it's super bittersweet, because I've always been fascinated by this character, but, like, in a way, I felt like, I felt like his, de his death was perfect in a way. Like, it was haunting, it was bittersweet, it was fitting. Um, and kind of like the last thing he sees is like an act of magic, you know, this dragon just fucking lights him up. Uh, and I love the framing of that. I love the moment where, you know, Danny, we, we see Danny, and then like far above her, like suddenly the dragon appears and just, <laughs> like, oh, I just, I thought, I don't know. It, it, I think he, he, uh, I think Varys has, 
I think he's got my favorite death on the show so far. I, I really, I just thought this whole sequence was just beautifully done. Wonderfully directed. Um, I love what they're doing with the camera here. So that, like, when it's down and looking up at Varys, it's like we're seeing Tyrion's viewpoint, you know? Um, I don't know. I just thought that his death was really darkly, darkly beautiful, I suppose. But, um... Yeah, I was really touched by that. Holy shit. Uh, we get another session of fucking Danny and Jon Snow making out and Jon being like, No. <laughs> you're, you're fine as hell, but your family. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. Ah. I did do it. Ah. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. And then, and then fucking da Daenerys or Danny, she's just like, you know what? Fuck it. We're going in there, ball swinging tomorrow. We're fucking killing everything. <laughs> fucking King's, King's Landing got completely shit on. I'm talking... Boy, King's Landing got fucking annihilated. Oh, yeah, I love... Uh, this is... What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm, I'm nerding out, but... It's so wild to think that this was the last ever exchange between... Jamie and Tyrion, you know, um, this, this sequence with Tyrion just, like, pleading, uh, pleading with Jamie to change his mind, try to survive, get out of there, damn, um, just, ah, uh, just their last moments were just, like, I don't know if I'm ready for all this, like, everything... Everything that I wanted the long night to be, uh, this was. <laughs> this episode was fucking insane. Oh my goodness. Fucking insane. Wow. Uh. I'm gonna keep moving here. Man. She, she didn't lose a, she did not lose a dragon this time. Yo, what I, here's what's interesting about, uh, this episode, cause like, you know, the long night, that was like a, a war, and this episode was a massacre, okay, I'm talking, this episode was a goddamn massacre, men, women, children, uh, like, like Anakin and, um, Attack of the Clones, and he was like, the, the, the women and the children too. I, sl I slaughtered them all. Like, that's literally what this episode was like. This, ep this episode was so weirdly satisfying just because they truly... I mean, this truly was a massacre. For real, for real. Like, somebody... Someone... There was, like, a soldier who got, like, cut into. Like, they got hit right here. But someone, like, like dragged the, the sword zigzag style through their torso like i mean people were getting fucked up <laughs> uh shit um i thought aria was gonna die uh shit maybe she did die <laughs> no but i mean seriously the battle was just so goddamn it was just so rid it was just so fucking ridiculous dog like oh my god there's just so that fucking dragon would Lighten people up, boy. Fucking them up. <laughs> Shit. Um. Man. This sequence right here with Tyrion walking, and you're seeing that, the, that line of ruins right there. It looks like something off of Saving Private Ryan or some shit. Unbelievable. Um. And what's interesting is, like, the, the bell gets rung. Don't matter. Danny don't give a fuck. Shit. She she has come for blood. <laughs> She's come for blood. She came to kill. Like I I already knew after the last episode she didn't she didn't care. She didn't care if they were gonna surrender. Like she came to fucking murder them. And for some reason deep down in my soul that made me happy. <laughs> but uh, it uh, and, and John John is looking all surprised and like. Looking shook and shit. It's like, yeah, yeah, what'd you, yeah, what, what'd you think was gonna happen, John? What'd you, what'd you think was gonna happen? What'd you, what you looking su surprised for? Okay. Uh, this episode really captured the horror of war. And, like, that, 
and there, there's there was just so, there was so much genuine uh, grand scale fi- filmmaking going on. Like this was like a landmark episode when it comes to acting, editing, sound design, um, the execution of the the, the massacre here is, is stunning. Um, it's just stunning. I mean, these people were getting fucked up. I love this. I love the sequence of uh, Jamie and Euron battling as like debris is falling because the dragon's just like blowing the fuck out of everything. And for a moment, I thought that Euron had killed Jamie, but no, Jamie kills Euron. But uh, you know, Jamie's been fatally w- wounded, and it was really, it was really meta and surreal to see Euron be like, you know. I'm the man that killed Jamie Lannister. Because, I mean, it's fitting to the character, but it, it just... It was just, like, freakishly... It was almost too meta for me. I don't know. Um, God damn, the dragon was doing work, boy. Oh, yeah, this last... Uh, the last goodbye, the fa- the farewell between... Um, or the farewell... The farewell that the Hound gives to Arya, I thought was... I thought was kind of spooky. I was just like... Whoa. I, I it, when when they de- departed for the last time, I was like, "Damn, we are truly we're in the end game now." <laughs> uh, you can feel it. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Oh man. When the when the hound is walking up the steps, fucking kills all those guys. <laughs> and that old that old bastard was talking some bullshit. I forgot what he said. The mountain literally grabbed that son of a bitch and just said, and just, just, just threw the old man against the wall and, and literally like his head just like popped open. And Cersei runs down the stairs and these two mountain versus the hound. I don't know. Color me crazy. Like, I know the haters just hate every fucking thing, but honestly, this felt, this whole sequence of the hound fighting the mountain just felt classic already especially as like um we the mountain starts to get revealed as like you know we see his face and his torso for how it really looks and this motherfucker's just not dying um man oh man i thought i thought it was a satisfying ending to the hound especially the hound you know tackles them through the wall and they both like fall to their deaths it was, just, it was just so like unexpectedly epic actually holy shit it was actually kind of kind of perfect actually um i'm just glad that he didn't die like a fucking coward like he, he had this weird cowardly moment in the long night and i was like what's that about but um because it just felt uh, so what is that about uh, finally seeing, uh, Cersei's barrier broken down was immensely satisfying, but I gotta say, the sequence where, uh, Jamie and, uh, and Cersei see each other again, and fucking, um, and Cersei is, like, terrified, and, and they're, like, trapped down there, and she's, she's borderline, like, begging for her life, she's so terrified that she's about to die, and these motherfuckers, they, they get buried alive, and they die in each other's arms. Like, even just saying that sounds poetic and epic, I must say. (laughs) Fucking hell. Whoa. Whoa, that was surreal. Because this whole time I'm thinking, like, one's going to kill the other, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, wow. Crazy. Fucking crazy. And the the last moments with, uh, the the last moments with Arya legitimately felt like something, I don't know, it felt like a fantasy version of 9-11, I mean... Just smoke in the air. Uh, Arya's bloodstained, covered in ash and, and debris powder, and fucking people are literally just getting massacred around her. <laughs> like Danny is just in pure kill mode. She's killing everybody and everything. All right, she don't give a fuck. <clears throat> 
Um, that one moment with with uh, Gray Gray Worm and um, John was fascinating. Where like the only thing that was on Gray Worm's mind was just murder, um, and John's just like, <laughs> um, yeah. The the last few moments here with Arya are pretty, pretty, pretty just pretty spooky, man. Like when like when she sees this blood soaked horse and just rides off on it. I was just like fuck and fuck it or is dark bitches. Shit. Damn. Damn. Shit. One of the baddest bitches out here. Arya Stark. Uh -uh. Um She she fucking rides off in the ghostly ruins charred ruins of King's Landing as the that's the backdrop. Um yeah, this this episode was uh fuck me. Honestly, I'm feeling a 10 out of 10 at the current time. Um again, I realize that the the people who hate the show at this point are just going to they're just going to complain about every goddamn thing, but honestly, uh this episode melted my brain. Okay? <laughs> Like, what about you?